M0FXB Handtech, welcome back to the channel. Due to be released early 2025 is Yesu's answer to the ICOM 705. There is now talk that this device will have Wi-Fi and 4 meters and of course Bluetooth, APRS, VHF, UHF, 6 meters, wideband receive and it is touchscreen. Now the key difference I would say that this has over the 705 is that it will dual display at the same time and if you can see on the right hand side the HF bands VHF UHF on the other side and that's a, that to me is the key difference and then it's the type of water floor waterfall which is the 3DS display so scroll down have a look at some of these photographs because I think they're actually quite fa fascinating if you look on the left hand side here the way that the rear modules connect you have the battery scrolling up you've got a couple of BNC connectors there separate ones for HF 50 megahertz and 144430 megahertz looking further down tabs there for external speaker ground tuner linear and 13 point DC scrolling up on this side you can see headphones Kia GPS USB and microphone so there is a microphone connector uh, on the front head which is so crucial it for portability so saying that I don't want to give you the impression that there's a rear head the whole point of this is that you can hold it in one hand now with the external modules connected it's going to be quite you know quite a let's call it a brick to hold because you also have the ability then to add extra modules this one here looks like it's probably the antenna tuner the first one looks like the battery the second one looks like a tuner and so you see them separately connected and then you see two on this photograph you see two models connected so we've got some Nice pictures here from the, I, think, I believe it's the Tokyo Fair. You can see your sort of classic uh, mount, camera mount, let's call it. It looks very nice and solid. Made by Newer, which is a famous mount company. This, although it's a screen, it almost looks like the front of a box. And um, so the whole unit is like the 705. If I just grab my 705, which is in a case, just grab it here. The actual 705, let's see if I can get the image a bit bigger, like so. Right, so I've got the 705 here. Now I've got a case around mine, a metal case, and you can bet that they're already designing metal cases so you can carry around your your FX, FTX, oh God, it's always a mouthful. So there it is there, and you've got the, mod, the battery module, which is very small on this device. It just comes out and it fits your handhelds as well. So I, I do think it's a game changer for Yesu. I do think and many people, I heard so many people turn around and say, um, you know, it's, it's not going to be a success, and, but it's going to be their best selling radio of all time. That is my prediction. And the 705 is still selling very well now, as is the 7100. And you know, I, I've said this before, is it a replacement for the Yesu 817818? Well, if it is, it's a completely different replacement because when I'm using my 817, the experience that I get, 818, is completely different to the experience that I'm going to get when I'm using, you know, the FTX 1F. So let me know what you think. I mean, I reckon by Easter, these will be in the shops. I think it would be very hard to resist buying this radio. You've got other radios that are coming out. If you look at the, the new Yesu, it's, no, Icom 7760, that's like £6,000. This is going to be, I think, around... Um, it's going to be around £1,400, I think. It's going to be up there with the price of the DX10 and the 710, possibly a bit more, uh, you know, more because you can get them now for very good prices, around 1200 I would say you're nearer the £1,500 mark for this set, but look at what you get, yeah? And um, it's going to be, you know, they're going to... I mean, if you look at the knob there, it's showing the sort of Yesu 710 knob with the LEDs either side. 
across the top, of course, you've got the VFO, memory, tuner, all that kind of stuff. I mean, to have all, to have seven, you know, to have C4 FM, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, four meters, V-head, you know, all the things that it lists, and the sort of the 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 the, um, the technology that's gone into these newer Yesu radios. How how I I find it. I think it's going to be very hard to resist for for most hams. I, I just think that uh, maybe, maybe I'm, you know, I'm wrong. So thanks for watching my channel. All very interesting. Looking forward to getting this in the shack and testing it. Bye for now.